So isn't this going to be a sight to see? Y'all made it to part three with me. So now that my hair is blown out, no wet spots. I'm using a finger, which is one of my fingers. <laughs> I'm using a finger. Or duh. I'm not using a comb. I'm using a finger. And I'm separating the bang area. And because my hair is so long, I decided instead of doing one ponytail, I'm going to do two ponytails. So I'm taking my comb blow dryer again, just making sure that, you know, it's a little more straight and a little bit more dry. And I am going to separate it again with my fingers and put a scrunchie on it. And um, with the scrunchie, I will put it in a ponytail. And that's what you guys see me doing. Using my blow dryer brush to basically get my hair in the two desired ponytails of my choice. Now, yes, this is my hair, and let's talk a little bit about um, healthy hair. And healthy hair starts internally. So I want to recommend to everyone to drink more water. H2O is your way to go, baby girl. And no, you're not a hoe. I cranks myself up because, you know, when you say H2O, you be like H2O ho. Guess it's just a me thing, you know, a to the T thing. But but I would like to mention about the eternal health that water makes up 25% of a single strand of your hair. So what will happen if your body doesn't intake enough water daily? You will be dehydrated, period. So with dehydration, it will immediately stop your hair growth. So major key for me is for me to recommend that everyone increase your water intake. Um, it's for your internal health, and it has a major, major beneficial uh, factories when it comes down to growing out your natural divine being hair. So here you see me curling the bang area, and instead of using the hard rollers that I usually use for a doobie set, I am using rods. I chose pink rods and a cream color rods that you guys will see me apply throughout my hair. Yes, child, he's a geek about me, okay? I just had to let him know, like, I'm encouraged to be brave enough to live the life of my dreams according to our vision and our purpose instead of the expectations and opinions of others. How many others feel like that? Do y'all affirm and pour into each other as couples? Let me know, let me know, let me know, okay? Because I'm going to live the life of my dreams, okay? I'm brave enough to do that. So if I can encourage you, don't be pushed around by the fears in your mind, but be led by the dreams in your heart. Instead of worrying about what you cannot control, maybe you should shift your energy to what you can create, period. So listen, live the life of your dreams. So I'm working in the ponytail area after I did the bang area and I am curling. And after I curl with my flat iron, I immediately put a rod on it and I proceed to the next section. And I will do that with this ponytail and the back ponytail as well. So this is what you guys will see me do. However, I came across a note that I wrote to myself on May 2nd of 2023. And I had told myself, say, Talijah, this is what I wrote, y'all. <laughs> I lay down my attachment to things that no longer serves me any good. Um, boredom has open gifts that fear could have made me not live. So I live for others that are deserving of receiving so you are not to blame yourself for achieving anything that you achieved to Elijah I understand life is a gift that you are a gift and I am a gift so I stayed present and created gifts for lives okay in myself in my womb and I release gratitude in the midst of unfortunate circumstances pain sadness suffering grief tragedy trauma okay now baby if that wasn't something to read again okay god is good when i tell y'all god is good that um i really embrace myself and i forgive myself and others i've learned over the years that most people do not have the confidence that i have and i don't know if that has everything to do with me being an aries and i know as an aries that god um show favor with us like he appointed us to be the first of 12 signs like i didn't ask to be an aries god knew that 
in all the Aries that th we were chosen for this life. Like we were chosen for this. As an Aries, I understand that my whole journey of life is about uh, change. Um, it's about transformation. It's about growth. It's about um, alchemy. It's about metamorphosis. Like I'm not meant to remain the same. So I will forever, ever, ever evolve and um, discover the different sides of me because I have different faces and expressions. And um, I know there's nothing wrong with that. Like having a million different faces is completely natural for me and is normal because I cannot always be one and the same, you know, because this is what my whole journey of life is about.